has this league broken me? Is too much loot bad? Am I feeling anything when I see a divine orb on the ground? Will I ever be the same after this? The Reddit user epic underscore trolling 22347897 said that P is stored in the balls. He wouldn't lie, right? <sighs> Maybe it's time to take a break. Jokes aside, how, how did we get here? Well, it all started with getting a Biscarabs back in 3.14 and changes to them in 3.21. Then the increased player power league after league, which made it easier for magic find characters to wreak havoc on the game. All of which culminated with the current league mechanic into the perfect storm that gave us these clips. Whatever you do, don't die. I need to pick up that fucking Valdo. <gasps> a fucking mirror of Calandra, bro! <laughs> a fucking mirror of Calandra, bro. Let's fucking go. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go, let's go. Divine! What? Holy shit! Fifty divine! What? What happened? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, you better calm down now. No, I can't! It's literally impossible. I can come up. Oh! Hi, I'm Daniel, and I think some dopamine receptors need new calibrations after this league. On the other side of the coin, I might not like juicing anymore. Yes, I'm on the complete opposite spectrum of many mother oh magic finders. <laughs> Why am I writing this in my script like that? I'm on the complete opposite spectrum of many magic finders, streamers, juicers, and however many terminologies there are. I do not like affliction juicing, nor do I like the insanity that are stitch inspires and single digit FPS gameplay. You might be thinking, just don't play it, bro. And yes, bro, you're right, but we'll get into that. First off, let me briefly explain what affliction juicing even is for the people who aren't up to date with the PUE meta and PUE news. In the current league, each map in the endgame has an entrance to the Wildwoods. In the Wildwoods, you can gather three types of wisps, which after leaving the woods will empower random enemies in the map. These wisps not only make the enemies much stronger, but also improve their rewards. The yellow vivid wisps grant an item quantity bonus, the purple wild wisps add an item rarity bonus, and the blue slash turquoise primal wisps makes monsters drop additional currency items. It also makes them crazy dangerous. All of this sounds like the good ARPG formula. You have a type of resource or you get a type of resource, you use it, power up the content and get more loot. But due to some changes leaks ago, affliction juicing might have broken some stuff again. And yes, I'm gonna drop the A word now. Arch Nemesis. <laughs> Arch Nemesis was the 3.17 expansion back in early 2022. Afterwards, it got rolled into the core game kind of, and changed how monster modifiers worked. The short version is that certain modifiers on monsters can now convert loot to something else. If you ever had an explosion of scarabs or maps, that rare monster had such a modifier. But nowadays, those modifiers are hidden from us the players, 
or else we would just kill those rare monsters and ignore everything else. Anyone remember Calandra League? <laughs> Yup, but we still want those big loot explosions, you know, we want that dopamine hit and we want to force it as much as possible. One way is to force leak content, which gives us more rare monsters. More rare monsters in each map gives you, the player, a higher chance of maybe converting maps into scarabs and finding lots of gilded and maybe even winged scarabs. It's going, yo! My ultra wide. Look at this. What the frick? Wait, why is it? Why is it going so far to the left? Speaking of scarabs and getting back to affliction juicing, the leak content abyss can result in opening a hole in the ground that you can enter. But with a gilded or winked abyss scarab, it will spawn a stygian spire instead. The spire shoots projectiles when damaged, thus spawning abysses that spawn many monsters including rare ones. Why does this matter now and why am I explaining how Abyss works and the Scarabs? Well, in Affliction, the current league, Wild Wisps give empowered monsters additional projectiles. Stygian Spires are monsters. I think you're starting to understand what's happening now. Not only do empowered monsters from Affliction give better and more loot, but now we can force many more rare monsters due to the Stitch Inspires also being able to get empowered and shooting a heck ton more projectiles. And on top of that, if you're a Magic Find character, you can boost loot to a much higher degree than was ever possible before. As mentioned in my intro, all of this, and much more, turned into the perfect storm that gave us insane loot explosions that were never ever seen before in Path of Exile. I'm tearing up a little bit because I'm so proud of this community. Like, we have truly found a way, or you could say a path, of ruining our dopamine receptors. <laughs> Jokes aside, it's all a game. And if grinding games didn't like what's happening right now, they could easily add some sort of filter to it. A filter, for example, that says certain monsters can and can't be empowered. And I'm pretty sure Stitch Inspires would be on that list faster than you can pray to Chris Wilson before Exalt slamming your melee weapon. Now you know what Affliction Juicing is, and if you want to try it out, I will leave some links in the description down below to some content creators and their guides. To finally answer your burning question, or maybe I'm on your second monitor and you forgot I'm still here. Hey, listen, this gameplay on screen that I'm showing right now is a cheaper version of Affliction Juicing. No sextants, some cheaper scarabs, and probably a build that doesn't really work with it. Either way, this was all I could muster up to try it out myself, and after a few maps, I was already sick of it. First of all, I don't like Headhunter being the pinnacle of defense. Second, I hate single-digit FPS. It is awful to play, and for everyone who complains about 30 FPS caps on console games, really shouldn't try Affliction Juicing. I'm running a 3090 Ti here, by the way. The GPU was nearly as expensive as my first car. And third, receiving more loot by not killing something feels weird. Or the other way of seeing it, I'm being actively punished killing something in an ARPG. This is not good, right? I'm talking about the Stitch Inspires, by the way. Because you don't want to kill the Stitch Inspires. You just want to scratch them a bit, so they pump out more and more projectiles over a period of time until they stop and you have many more rare mobs slapping your face. Now to counter myself here, or reverse Uno myself, I did have very low frame rate already running Legion. When running my Legion maps and having a headhunter, it just spawns so many projectiles that it will tank your FPS. But after trying Affliction Juicing, I thought maybe I need to change and approach this game differently because I love this game. It's gorgeous, has amazing music, sound design, and some incredible boss fights. But here I am running the same map with Headhunter at 30 FPS on a good day over and over and over. Not saying you can't have fun with that 
and I'm sure I will play Legion and Blast maps next league as well because it's just a great low-ish investment that works for me. So after asking myself why I don't like Affliction Juicing, I ask myself how. How can I play something that works for me and doesn't have the issues I mentioned above with low FPS, headhunter requirement and crazy investment with map crafting, sextants and so on. Turns out there was a leak that went core recently and which I gave a really high score back in my league review on my main channel a while ago. But for whatever reason, I haven't really tried it properly since. The Forbidden Sanctum. I kind of have to blue ball you here though, because making these videos takes a long time because of editing and script writing. I will talk about my Sanctum experience in the next video with a Penance brand build. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And in the meantime, I would love to know in the comments down below what you are doing to farm your currency right now. And more importantly, with what build? It's always interesting to hear what players farm, like the content, but also what build they use. I sometimes struggle with this, where I have a really good build and I enjoy it, I just can't see myself making a lot of currency with said build. And to be honest here, I did think about Heist. How far I have fallen. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe in 3.24. We'll see. If you have watched until now, thank you so much. And stay hydrated, gamers.